hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back uh it's your girl it's your girl okay it's your girl she's back there's no excuse really i just didn't know what to do or what to say and i was really busy with school so but i'm back now and anyway welcome back um to my channel people that are new please subscribe like comment do whatever it is you need to do to make my channel girl girl we're gonna have a conversation it's, like, it's gonna be like a chit chat i'm gonna talk about um how i came to my self-love journey and i'm gonna talk about femininity as well and feminine power and what i think about being a feminine woman you know my view of what it is and my view of self-love as well that's what we're gonna talk about i just feel like it's, it's i like talking about those type of things and basically my experience in this whole thing and maybe i'll talk a little bit about me a little bit a little bit about me. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna put it in. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Zabona and I'm gonna get drunk. But yeah. Okay. I'm carrying this. This is looking weird because I'm carrying a toothbrush. But anyway, um, I'll do my makeup while I have this chit chat session just to not make it boring for me as well. You know, just to get a little bit of oomph in it. But what I won't do is list the makeup in the description box sweetie because i just feel like the focal point is not me doing my makeup the focal point is what i'm going to be talking about okay but i'm going to do my makeup while i'm talking about what i'm talking about uh yeah let's get into it so basically guys um i think self-love is um just uh loving your, yourself as you are without any changes you know not placing a certain um goal and saying okay i'll love myself after this it's it's accepting your bad and your good in that moment and, and and just saying this is who i am and i love myself like this that's what self-love is to me and i basically um a particular relationship triggered my self-love um a relationship that made me feel empty and just really just lowered my self-esteem and i blamed myself a lot for that i've blamed myself oh look at my ring <laughs> yeah i bought that at a visa i love that ring but anyway i blame myself okay please don't don't need judgments uh with my makeup because like i said i'm not a makeup a ting like hun so can we not go there thanks anyway yeah a particular relationship triggered me to start working on myself and loving myself and stuff i won't talk about that relationship uh because i just feel like again that's not the focal point but i maybe i'll talk about it one day but just not now um so after that relationship i really just put a lot of things it put a lot of things into that w i didn't really realize about myself into perspective like giving yourself too easily to someone before they have to work for it you know giving yourself too easily to people and loving too too quickly you know and i don't know if you guys have noticed this about men but the nicer you are to them the more they just take you for a puss it's almost like you need to be a toxic hun for guys to think you are worth it you need to be a hun who doesn't care who doesn't show that you you care about them you know you just need to be that person who is just <laughs> a fucking bitch and that's what they respect so i guess that's what we're gonna give them period bitch that's what exactly we're gonna give them okay i know it looks the my, my, my yeah my eyebrow does look a bit weird right now but listen stay with me stay with me so yeah that relationship definitely triggered my growth after that i was like okay cool i really need to work on my myself and the journey is pretty disgusting it's a very disgusting journey um because uh, you know i think after a bad relationship you tend to blame yourself a lot for falling for things that you should not have fell for for giving yourself too quickly doing sweet shit for someone who would never do it for you and all of that in J. I don't know what the fuck I just did <laughs> there but yeah I think that's what was killing me the most and besides that there were other things in life as well like like I said uh learning boundaries as well I feel like Pilar I mean I think people come in your life to teach you 
certain lessons oh my god i can't take myself seriously with these with these eyebrows i really can't but certain people just trigger certain things you know certain situations will trigger you a certain movie sometimes movies trigger me um where there's a character who is very similar to you and you relate so much with that person that triggers me into uh, self-introspection like oh shit like what what could i have done had i been in her position or oh my god i've been through that before or oh my god i should really you know do what she did as well so movies also trigger me you know it depends what your trigger is or what kind of pushes you to doing what what it is you want to do so like i said the the, the self-love journey is <laughs> it's hectic and yeah all i can suggest and i don't think it's a journey that ever ends i think life is a cycle you basically just go in and out of journeys all the time you think you complete it but no it was part one. Oh no it was an introduction Oh no it was the body Oh no it was part two of the body like self-love doesn't end it's something that we're constantly going to need to do you know even when we're grown and we're 30 or we're 40 we're still going to need to you know practice of love it's just a never-ending journey so i think i just begun that journey so in me obviously uh learning about self-love that's when i started watching videos about how to be feminine i've, I've always been feminine you know i've always uh, liked dresses and skirts and um but f you know fuck dressing femininity comes more from the inside you get some girls who are more masculine than others those are viewed as okay let me not talk while I do my eyebrows. I didn't say, oh, this is, um, fit me, because I'm so bad at this. Fit me concealer, um, by Maybelline. Yeah, it's, I love this concealer, guys. I don't know, I don't care which foundation I'm buying. I always buy fit me foundation or essence uh sorry fit me concealer or um essence concealer essence concealer is so thick and so beautiful like i love essence concealer my sister has essence concealer anyway in my self-love journey i started learning about femininity i started watching videos about femininity how to smell good how to take care of yourself how to look um and feel pretty um and all of it obviously always begins with self-love and just working on your inner self first. That's what you want to do if you if you want to um, embrace your femininity or anything on the outside. You have to first work on your inside. You have to work on your on, on your traumas, the things that trigger you, um, your 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 uh, toxic traits. You have to work on those as well first. Just everything starts from the inside basically is what i'm trying to say everything starts on the inside so like i said after i learned about the self-love journey i started learning about femininity how to be a woman how to ooze femininity how to um just you know look good and just attract good things and so obviously i try to i did affirmations i still do like i'll wake up and say I am like I'm just making an example of affirmations that I do. I am loved. I am highly favored. I am in a receiving energy. I am receiving. I'll say things like I am taken care of. I am loved. I, um, you know things like that. Things like that. Stand was hamia bonje. Oh, I wanna learn to do this bonje. So that's what I do. That's what I do. Um, my mom is quite feminine, so um, it wasn't really hard tapping into my feminine energy. And um, like I said, I did boundary setting and started learning about boundaries, how to say no, how to tell people to fuck off. Um, and Jay, everything just started making sense after that. And so being feminine really did also change my life and it did change the type of guys i attract as well because i don't know about y'all but i believe i like being taken care of in relationships i don't do 50 50 relationships sorry if i'm disappointing anyone i i truly apologize but yeah that's just who i am sway that's just who i am i 
love relationships where there's a breadwinner and I'm just there. It's just vibes. It's just vibes. It's just vibes. I like those kind of relationships. But you don't need to be, to be feminine, you don't need to do that. Obviously, as fan Sabandu, we have different views. We like different things. So there are girls who are 50-50. It doesn't matter. You can still be feminine. But I'm just saying, it's it's my preference to be with a man who is taking care of everything. Because that's what I just think men should do, you know? <laughs> anyway. Okay, now I'm going to use LA Girl Foundation. And what what color is this? Soft honey, which is very light. So I have to mix it with this one, BB Cream, LA Girl as well. Um, color Deep. Yeah, I'm going like there, 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 there with that number. And I'm with Deep Love. So yeah, I mixed, I mixed both of these together. Okay. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I just feel like it's only if I keep you guys in the loop. So yeah, I started learning about femininity and it's, 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 it's nice. It's nice being feminine because you get things done for you. So I started dressing a bit more feminine. I started caring about how I look before. I never used to really care about how I look shit. If I needed to do things, honey, I would leave the house with sweatpants and stuff, which is fine. I still do that. It depends where I'm going. But now I'm saying I'm more aware about how I look I'm more aware of looking my best because it makes me feel good it makes me feel good to look good you know it, it makes me love myself more it makes me appreciate myself more and it definitely um, attracts guys who <laughs> like appreciating that as well so like I said uh, yeah, so I started dressing better, which boosted me into feeling good all the time. I'd always feel pretty. I'd always feel good. And I would say affirmations. I still do, like I said, myself. And that kind of like made me even more confident about myself. And it's really been a, a, a rocky journey because like I said, healing is, is well, not healing, but self-love does have to do with healing because you are basically fixing things about yourself that are not good that invite takers or that invite selfish people you know if you're a giver but obviously this is not self-love is not only for people like that you know there are people who are more selfish than others and i just find that on youtube it's always the kind of the same story where everybody's like oh yeah people have wronged me and that's why i know sometimes you are the toxic person and you also need to do that self-love thing you know and you also need to learn that you can't keep taking from people and you can't keep doing as you please and not thinking about how other people feel but self-love is just for everybody you know those are your toxic traits and you accept yourself like that but now you realize that okay i need to change this because it's not good for me and it's not good for my relationships with people with friends with parents so yeah wherever you are whether you're selfish or you're the giver it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, once you've taken that decision, it was okay, I'm going to change, I'm going to be better, then uh, amazing, uh, amazing. Femininity was something that was deep within the self-love. I don't really want to base self-love on looks, but looks are definitely, um, no, no, let, me not, let me not say looks, let me say the way you take care of yourself, your outer appearance not only your face but your body and the way you dress and the way you carry yourself carry yourself with with respect with love and i don't mean this with drinking or carrying bottles in the club hey sorry girl carry bottles in the club sorry especially if you're young we understand i'm not talking about that i'm talking about how you view yourself and uh, what particular how you hold yourself you know how you take care of yourself that's what i'm talking about so when i say carry yourself with respect i just mean walk like you're the shit i mean say what you say and mean it mean what you say you know if you don't want to do something oh no i was like if you don't wanna um if you feel some type of way about something open your mouth that's what i'm talking about if if, if walk like you are the queen of england 
or, or London. I don't know where, where the queen is or what she does, but just act like you're the shit and, and believe it and, and dress like you, like, because like I said, when, you, when you're dressing up, it's not particularly for a particular person. It's for you. So that's why I'm saying wherever you're going, just make sure you look like you're that girl and you behave like you're that girl. And it's okay to view yourself as that girl, sweetie. Sometimes you don't have to be humble. For who and for what? No. People can't see your heart all the time. And people can't see your heart at all. And it doesn't mean if you, just because you're a good person, it doesn't mean you have to dress like shit. And if you have a really um, not great way of dressing, then that's different. You can always just... I don't know what the hell you can do <laughs> but i'm just saying like um carry yourself with love with respect and just always worship yourself and embrace the feminine you the the, the female you whether that's dressing like a tomboy or whatever um or like a lady but i prefer to dress like a lady that's just my um style dresses and thinkies and then other girls it's uh, they, some girls really rock that tomboy look in fact i like the tomboy look like the sweatpants um look is really nice i like that look a lot actually <laughs> um but yeah what i'm saying is embracing my femininity made me love myself more and just attract better but also figure love on what you start attracting once you love yourself when you believe in yourself and it's fucking amazing but anyway i'm still talking about you about you and realizing the shit that you are you know i'm still talking about that so embracing your femininity basically allows you to do that and feminine traits are basically traits like um the softness of a woman and getting in touch with your emotions uh, getting in touch with your appearance and how um, you dress and how you look all the time. That's your feminine side. That's feminine femininity. And then masculinity is your um, boldness, your 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 assertiveness side, boundaries. That's your masculinity. That's why it's always good for a woman to balance her masculinity and femininity. Basically, just strike a balance, yeah, bo? with with that. So, yeah, in terms of my femininity it really did trigger or help me not trigger it helped me a lot um in my self-love journey and it made me feel more beautiful it made me appreciate myself more and it definitely helped me attract better and be better a better me <laughs> a better me so as a woman you get it's good to be feminine yeah, you value yourself and you treat yourself like the princess or the queen that you are. Oh, this is my favorite part. My favorite part of makeup is concealing. <laughs> I love concealing. But anyway, it's treating yourself like the queen that you are and just um, embracing yourself and making sure that you always look dressed to the nines. I believe women should look sexy all the fucking time. Embrace if you're chubby, embrace your chubbiness and stop trying to look like everybody else. That will get you nowhere. Embrace your uh, your 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 chubbiness. Cuz I think the self love thing, we like to make it about uh losing weight and well, it's good to lose weight. It's good to lose weight, don't get me wrong. But see, that's not all it is. Sometimes, you know, some people can't lose the weight. And, you know, it's just about loving yourself as you are. That's what it's about. And just embracing who you are and changing your toxic traits and maintaining a good weight, a healthy weight. That's what self love is about. And that's what femininity is also about. Well, not about weight, but you'll get what I'm saying. You'll get what I'm saying. But, yeah. And then that happened, so I started learning about femininity. I started learning about how looking nice makes you feel good. You know, sometimes, but like guys, especially if you're in varsity, sometimes you really don't feel like looking nice. Like, when you attend the class, you have a test at five, like, you're just really not in that energy. And like I said, there are days that I still go out looking like shit. <laughs> but on most days, I make sure I look nice, I smell nice, I automatically feel good, and I automatically just feel like, um, I'm untouchable and that's how I always want to feel so that I don't settle for
for less or I don't catch myself in situations where I'm forgetting who the fuck I am. And once you come from situations like that, um, be it a relationship, be it um, um, a situation, be it a friendship, whatever it is that triggered your self-love journey, you don't want to go back there and I just believe Uguti, everything that happens in life is, is, a, is just a lesson, okay? It's a lesson. Uguti, you know, don't do this again and what you can do to prevent yourself from being in the same situation again. So once you've worked on yourself, and it takes quite some time, I think it took me a year, it took me the whole of 2020, I started feeling better in 2020. Um, the whole corona thing, Gemini, happened and it helped me so much because I started meditating and I started doing these affirmations and yeah, I started feeling really good about myself and really confident and I still got other things I need to work on though as well, but it, it, it just, it made me put things into perspective about myself. Yeah, well, so yeah, my femininity got triggered and I started knowing, okay, you do your nails, you know, but everybody does their nails. You do your nails, you do your makeup. Girls who don't do their makeup, why are you not doing your makeup? Why are you not doing your makeup? Please do your makeup. Like, ain't none wrong. Ain't none wrong. Do your makeup, girl. Be a city girl. Be a city girl. If you're single, be a city girl. But get it, say, say, ish. Hey, yes. Sometimes I get it. Not every girl likes going out and fucking it up in the club. So just live, be your best self. That's what self-love is about. Be your best self. For me, being my best self was being a city girl. <laughs> Understand that. That's what being my best self is. But I just want, you know, women to value themselves and think of themselves highly. So that a nigga doesn't come in your life and tell you. Or a person doesn't come in your life and try to try you. You know, because now you know who the fuck you are. And you know what you deserve and, and what you are willing to settle for you know and that's what basically the, the self-love journey taught me is that your limits knowing your your boundaries knowing who you are and not being afraid to be who you are that's what what it's about essentially not being afraid to, to be who you are and accepting your darkest deepest secrets and 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 dark traits about yourself and saying this is who i am this is who i am and this is what I need to work on to be the best version of who I am. And that's, that's what I believe I'm here on this earth to do is just to be the best version. I think I need the best. I need to put a little bit more. So, like I said, I'll go into what happens after you start believing in yourself, after you start embracing who you are, after you start being a more feminine woman. Um, which is basically looking pretty all the time and looking pretty all the time is not like I said about your looks It's about how you dress how you carry yourself how you act how you um, How you are Jay as a person You start attracting men that want to take care of you <laughs> Actually, no, you start attracting people that um, Are on your wavelength if you're attracting um, men, you're attracting uh, men who also take care of themselves. Men who see you and want to treat you well. Not men who see you and think, oh, this is a great opportunity to just Netflix and chill all the time with her. You don't attract men like that. And if you do, you usually don't pay attention to them because what the hell. But hey, another topic to be sh that should be discussed is the whole friends with benefits topic. And personally, I don't think that shit has anything to do with self-love, chilling. I don't know. People have different opinions, and I just think, do what you want. Like, I struggle. sometimes, <laughs> this is so bad. What I'm about to say is so bad. But sometimes, you need to just forget your worth. <laughs> that was for two seconds. You need to just put that worth, like, just chuck it back, you know? Just forget your worth for, like, two minutes, okay? Just, like, for, for like... At least for like two days, just forget it, you know, and just oh, fuck it up and then go back to being that bitch. But I just think 
kamba ngokuthi wena ucabanga kanjani but mina personally I don't think the whole situation okay I think maybe a situation ship is bad for you but a friends with benefit situation I think most as to you fall quickly then don't do it don't do it because you it, you'll fall girl you will fall flat on your face but if you know that you are the type that can be um you know a bad bitch from time to time and you know spadala you know we have certain things that we like so yeah i'm just being honest guys i'm just being honest so okay now i need to put oh my god okay let me be back come back, come back. No, no, no. just went to fetch this so like i said what was i saying you just need to forget your words just for two seconds it's fine you, you'll get it back after some time but you handle the the things that go on because at the end of the day you know we're human and we have feelings we're not made of um rock so it's absolutely okay to fall for someone and stuff but like i said if you know you that type don't fucking do it bitch don't do it don't do it but yeah anyway moving on from the topic like it's we're not talking about things like that maybe i'll do another um, well i'm talking about that but today we're not going to talk about those things. What they're saying, yeah, if it's something you want to do, go. Do a girl. Do a girl. But, yeah, the femininity journey helps you. We all know we're queens that love money. Men just need to understand that we love money. I don't understand men that don't understand that we love money. And we need money. So it's on the mall. So it's on the so you turned but it, yeah the, your femininity will really attract men it depends if you like alpha alpha males then you'll attract a whole lot of alpha males once you embrace that once you love yourself once you put yourself don't ever be afraid and i know sometimes it happens where you start to have that imposter syndrome i think it's called imposter syndrome where you start where you feel like okay maybe i'm just I'm casting myself a bit too. I'm not saying be narcissistic. Don't be narcissistic. But love yourself to a point where you know what you have to offer and you're not, you're unapologetic about yourself and what you deserve. And there's that imposter syndrome that makes you feel like, oh, maybe I'm asking for too much or maybe, you know, I'm being, I'm, I'm overvaluing myself. There's no such thing, sweetie. There's no such thing. You will see, I am very big on faith. So what I will do is pray. What I will do is pray. Um, yeah, okay, wait, let me just do this real quick. See, you, you want to put it there because um, you want to put the bronzer over there so that your forehead looks smaller for us who have big foreheads. You want to put it over there so that you just, you look like your forehead is not that big. It, guys, I really... I hate the fact that my putu hair is showing. Like, hey, what's up? I'm so excited, John. I'm going to put it. I have these. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. But, yeah. Be that bitch. Be that bitch that you are. That you always be that bitch. Be that bitch. This is just a girl. Ha, ha, ha. This is just a girl. Uh, uh. Okay, now I'm gonna put a blush. It's my favorite part. My favorite part of 
my makeup is to put blush on and then i put my lashes on then i look like that bitch sweetie so yeah you start attracting better you start looking better you start feeling better and you start attracting even when it comes to um <laughs> lola almost when it comes to jobs but it just self-love and appreciating yourself and just looking pretty all the time makes you feel good and so you feel like you can take over the world at that point you know your academics start looking nice because like i said you focus on things that make you better and passing in school sweetie that makes you better so when you okay it's too light i don't know i can't see it properly when you start focusing on things that make you feel better you start to it, it affects every aspect of your life and academics included my academics improved as well and you're just constantly working on yourself working on things that better you working on things that make you a better person you know you 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 hate less on, on people people who hate i buy time you guys because if you had things to do you would not stay around looking for people to bully those people have a low self-esteem and they have nothing else to do but bully that is the only thing they can do that is the only thing that makes them feel good you know because they they don't love themselves they they are they copies mama we turn to babies yeah but not you get peace hey boy leon get peace and then again so peace you know you do your drivers okay you don't have to love yourself to do that but i'm just saying that you guys i think you guys get what i'm saying catch the yeah you just do things that better you that better you as a person that better you as a lover if you're in a relationship because now you can even like you won't feel shitty unless you like a real clingy person if your partner's not paying attention to you because not with not paying attention like that unhealthy kind of not paying attention but if he's busy you won't be like oh babe whatever because you realize he's busy and he's giving him you're giving him space and that makes him miss you more that i really like blush guys a lot so if i end up looking like a clown um i hope i don't end up looking like a clown but yeah make it a bit more I think y'all can see it right y'all can see it right right I don't like putting highlighter because my this highlighter looks kind of cheap it looks a bit too white look at that I don't like that it's also Alley Girl by the way I, most of my things are from Alley Girl um yeah Okay, so yeah, my femininity improved and I just became that bad bitch. Uh, yeah, became that bad bitch and yeah, I've always been a bad bitch and I'm always gonna be the one bitch. Period. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right, bitch. Oh, sing for I'm a little, 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 I'm a So yeah, you just kind of do that, guys, and you just feel like that bad bitch, and you can take over the world, and that was basically my journey. I started attracting better. I'm doing good right now emotionally. I'm on fire. It's great, um, but it's not always going to be great, guys, because people will try you, and you will also try yourself, and you'll let yourself down multiple times. But I think, Mina, what what you should always do is pick yourself up and just pick it back up where you left off and just kind of dust yourself up and be that bitch again. That's basically it. So I think I'm going to go off and go put the these lashes on off camera because it's looking tricky. No, I was just thinking about how I haven't done my lip. On, but as you can see i put them on terribly if you are really focusing but you don't even have to really focus it's quite obvious that um this one is further in and this one's further out but hey i don't have the energy to like go back and change it sorry but i don't anyway now i'm gonna put my lipstick my not lipstick but 
I have a lip liner. Yeah, a lip line. I don't where's the lid. <laughs> Another reason why I did not put um my I what is this my eye pencil around my lips is because my my eye pencil is very dark brown and I prefer a lighter brown so I think I'll buy a lighter brown um lip liner or another eye pencil and just use it as a lip liner but yeah I think my look is finished yeah I think I look quite nice um but i think my eyelashes obviously look like a joke but yeah my makeup is done you are basically guys just continue working on yourselves like i am and i'll also continue on my end and i think we'll have more conversations like this if you guys really like these this conversation we will have more but if you guys want anything more, i think next time i'm going to do like a fun one like oh let me try something let me i want to try and put the white eyeliner and see how it turns out can you all see that essence it's from essence though it's called kayla pencil let me try I what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying, but I was just saying, Guguti, um, yeah, just continue working on yourself, and you guys will see wonders, you guys will attract amazing things. But yeah, that's what you do, and things will change for you, and you'll feel better about yourself. And you guys are just gonna keep looking amazing, and you get better every year, it gets better every month, it gets better every day. So continue to love yourself, and you will feel amazing, and you will do amazing things, and you'll be an amazing person in this life thing and you will be more of you you'll give your love so much more purely because i don't support being toxic i think be toxic to people that are toxic and after some time tap out because if you continue being toxic with people who are toxic people who are toxic don't get tired of being toxic those people will be toxic until i don't know they don't get tired so you will drag your energy you will drain yourself unnecessarily can't catch ourselves slipping in these streets but are we in the streets we're in relationships we are in the streets so we need to act accordingly how the streets act we act period so yeah i think that's it i just wanted to talk about femininity and self-love oh that's all i wanted to say like subscribe tell your friends tell your friends 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 to tell your friends as friends as friends to tell your friends as friends as friends to be back on my channel why not you know we're all about health positivity improvement self-improvement femininity why would you want that why wouldn't you want that okay sometimes you sound love you bye bye